In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for practice exam number three for Math 1030, in which case we need to find an example of a time where the plurality method might violate the Condorcet criteria. So we need a Condorcet winner um, who's not the plurality winner. And so how do you do that? There's a, I should mention that answers may vary on this one. So I'm gonna give you an example, but this example is not the only one that you put potentially could do. So I'm going to come up with a preference schedule in the following way. So we're going to have five candidates, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, for which we're going to have three profiles, one with 49 votes, one with 48 votes, and one with three votes, like so, for which we're going to vote for A, B, and C, and then B, E, B for second place. Third place is C, D, E. Fourth place is going to be D, C, D. And then finally, we're going to get E, A, A, like so. So some things to note about this, where I came up with it. The plurality winner is going to definitely be player um, A right here. So the, the winner of the method is player A. Uh, player candidate A had 49 votes. The closest comparison would be B with 48. C got three, and then C, uh, D and E got no first place votes. So that's the winner of that election. But some other things to note here is that player A is in dead last with regard to the others. Like so, notice that the majority of the votes actually put A in last place which is kind of a curious thing. And so that's how I'm kind of making this thing work. A is definitely not going to be the Condorcet winner here. Um, who is then? Who is going to be the Condorcet winner? It kind of seems like B uh, seems very likely. So if we look at B, for example, here, if we look at pairwise comparisons, first notice that A versus B. With regard to A versus B, um, sure, um, A has 49 first place votes, is more preferred to B here. But on the other hand, with this one, B is preferred with 48. And then since A is in dead last, B is preferred here as well. And so that actually gives us 51 votes compared to 49. So B is the winner in that comparison there. Uh, if you do, I, I, I just want to show that B is a Condorcet winner. So I'm just going to do B versus C next. Um, so again, in this one, B wins with 48 votes. Um, and this one, C would be more preferable with three votes. But then this one over here, B is more preferable. So actually, it's 97 to 3. So B is the winner in that situation as well. And again, if you want to write out the numbers 49 to 51, um, this one was 97 to 3. If you do B versus D in that situation, B is actually always preferred to D. Um, so in that situation, B is the winner. It would be 100 to 0. And the same thing happens with E. Um, e is always below B in all of these rankings here. So 100 to nothing again. So sure enough, um, B, um, B is the Condorcet winner, which doesn't have to be one. But in this example, I did come up with one. So this was an example that I came up with to demonstrate that plurality can violate the Condorcet criterion. That is, the Condorcet winner might not be the winner of the election, um, but there could be many, many other examples you could come up with to solve this problem.